Hello again, I am Blunty, and I have already found a fantastic grip option that makes two-player mode on the Nintendo Switch better, and now on my continuing voyage through Nintendo Switch accessories, today I'm looking at something I'm hoping will kick up single-player Joy-Con arrangements to the next comfort level. They're called the Joy-Con Mini Grip. They're from CyberGadget. And so far as I've seen, I think these are only available in Japan, which is really no big deal because PlayAsia.com exists and they've been a reliable place to snatch up Japanese gaming stuff like this since way back when I imported the very first hideous version of the Nintendo DS. This is not a sponsored video or anything, I'm just saying that I've used them many times and found them reliable, so hooray. Anyway, these ones attracted my attention for one main reason. They have a cool secret. There's a hidden compartment for game cartridge storage. Which is, if you ask me, a genius idea. You can carry extra games right inside your Joy-Con grips. Brilliant! But on the face of it, these things are a rigid plastic shell with a clear faceplate, all of which seems nice, until you go to fit them. I don't know if there's a special secret technique to this or something, but it's pretty awkward to get these on. But once they are on, though, they fit nice enough. I like that the face of the Joy-Con gets some protection without covering them up with an opaque layer, so if you've got yourself the neon-coloured Joy-Con, you can still continue to enjoy those intense colours. In actual use, they work okay, and with the rails left free, they of course snap onto the tablet section without any issue at all. With the clear faceplate over them, it did take me a little bit to get used to having the buttons feel a bit more flush with the surface, but it didn't hinder usability at all. Except for the part where you want to take the Joy-Cons off the tablet section again. They didn't really account for the release button very well in this design, and it is a struggle to get the bloody things off, let me tell you. Perhaps the Japanese, being a generally more slender people, will have more fortune with this, but I found it a big pain in the ass. Unfortunately though, as clever as the design is everywhere else, with the clear faceplate and the secret compartment, they're actually not made very well. The plastics are very cheap feeling, the ribbing for the finger grips on the back isn't placed or moulded very well, and it doesn't actually sink into the hand as much as I would have hoped. At least my hands. So what was a very promising design with a clever little secret falls a bit flat on the actual execution. I would love to see someone do a higher quality version of this exact same concept because I do love the cartridge storage idea. But yeah, the, the fit, the finish, the general manufacturing tolerances at work here have led to a rather less than ideal result. The little secret cartridge door doesn't always shut properly, for example. You have to sort of squeeze it on both corners to get it to click shut. All that kind of sloppy, cheap, plastic molded kind of stuff, it's, it's all here. So I unfortunately have to suggest you avoid this one, but maybe tweet this video to one or two of the bigger accessory brands out there and beg them to take a whack at the idea with their superior manufacturing know-how. Because there is a fantastic product waiting to happen here, it just hasn't quite been nailed with this one. But, just as it tees, at the same time these arrived, I did get another Switch Grip accessory that came in, and it, well, it's much more promising, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, I am Blunty, and we'll catch you next time.